Today, I did something that I've never done before, and no, it wasn't shop at Walmart for the first time. It was buying the entire edition, the entire series of the new Disney 100 collectible minifigures, and here is why I did it. So I think first to really understand why this is such a big deal to me, I want to tell you a little bit about the history of myself with collecting LEGO minifigures. I have never seen Lego minifigures as something that I want to complete the full series of. I, at first, when I got into them back in series three, I always saw these minifigures as, as, let me grab a few of them here and there. I won't grab too many. It's kind of just random. I didn't know you could feel the bags. I didn't know you could tell kind of what was inside. I would just get like one Lego minifigure every time I saw them as a little treat. I was a kid. I was really young. So I didn't really collect very many. Over the years, of course, I started to collect more and more Lego minifigures. Again, just getting a few here and there whenever I could afford it. Sometimes starting to feel them as I got, began to learn that. But for the most part, still just getting minifigures to enjoy. The first time I ever completed a full series of Lego minifigures was Series 8. I remember because it came out when I was really into them. And I just bought so many of those minifigures. I did did feel some of them but I was also not the best at feeling them and I got a lot as gifts for Christmas so I ended up with a ton of duplicate minifigures from that series. Over the years I've continued collecting lots of those Lego minifigures. Sometimes there's a series that I really really like and I'll end up picking them all up but most of the time I'll just get some here and there. During COVID I really just ordered Lego minifigures on shop at home and I never actually felt any of them so I ended up with some great minifigures but I also ended up with some duds in my collection. How I store most of my collectible minifigures now is I have one large frame here in my Lego room that has a bunch of my favorite minifigures from all the series. Underneath that frame on the shelf I've got a bunch of the Lego minifigures from the more recent series that I want on display and then I've also got a couple bins behind my studio here that contain all the other Lego minifigures that I just don't really want on display and they're bagged by individual series all kept separated. Throughout my entire journey of collecting collectible Lego minifigures, I have never just gone out and bought a complete series. I've always bought like individual Lego minifigures, sometimes that built up to getting the whole Lego series, but I often had to buy like 20, 30 or more Lego minifigures to get that full series. So today, this is the first time I've ever actually just purchased 18 and 18 alone Lego minifigures to complete my series. Basically what happened is I was scrolling on Facebook Marketplace earlier today and I came across this lot of $130 for all 18 collectible Lego minifigures from the Disney 100 line completely sealed. $130, I did the math, I'm like, mm, that's pretty expensive, that comes out to about $7 a figure, I'm going to pass. But then I realized these minifigures actually now retail for $5.99 here in Canada, which is essentially $6. Add my 13% sales tax that I get when I'm living in Canada, these minifigures now come out to be like $6.75. So I'm like, hmm, $6.75 if I have to go to the store and buy them, or for $0.25 cents a figure more, I can be guaranteed to get that LEGO minifigure and complete my whole series at once. This entire lot here was $130, like I mentioned, and if I went to the store and spent an hour feeling and got 18 LEGO minifigures, I would spend $122. So I was like, realistically, for the price of one extra LEGO minifigure, I am guaranteed to get the full series and will not have to buy another one of these LEGO minifigures again. Because this was a series that I wanted so much and I was probably going to collect most of them anyway and especially the ones that I did want to get outweighed getting a few that I didn't want, I figured this would be the perfect thing for me to do. So I messaged the Facebook seller and Allah, you guys can see I picked those up successfully, paid the $130 and got all 18 LEGO minifigures to open up here for you guys on video and now I've got them in my collection as well. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done something like this and that's because this is one of the first times that A, I did want the full complete series of collectible minifigures and B, somebody did all the work for me and put the price right. If this would have been $140, $150, to me that would not have been worth the risk. I would have just rather gone to the store, pick up a few minifigures here and there and do my best to complete the Lego collection like I've done for every other series. But because I was able to get all 18 very, very easily and very cost effectively, I figured this was going to be the best solution for me and I'm very happy that I went with it. This may or may not be something that I continue to do in the future. Again, if I like the entire collectible Lego minifigure series and I see a great Facebook listing or something like that for a relatively cheap price to get the entire series, it might be worth taking advantage of. However, if it's not a series that I want to collect every minifigure in, I may end up just going to the store and feeling the bags or taking a guess because we all know Lego is talking about switching to the cardboard packaging very, very soon, which is obviously going to kill the feeling method while you're at the store. So if you want to know exactly what Lego 
minifigure you're going to be getting, you're going to have to buy them and open the cardboard box and see for yourself. I know this is going to lead to a larger resale value on Bricklink. The reason why I was so excited just to buy all of them today is because all of them are $7 a figure. I know when you buy collectible minifigures, if I bought these individually on Bricklink, you know, maybe this minifigure is worth $8, but then this one's worth $4 and this one's worth $7. Like, it might all balance out to be worth, you know, $7 a figure, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. I don't know. But this one was kind of just the thing of convenience. I love that the fact that they were all sealed as well. Somebody else did all the feeling for me, saved me over an hour of time, and I thought that was pretty great. My future in collecting collectible minifigures is still really up in the air. I really dislike what LEGO is doing to the fact that they're making them cardboard boxes. It's going to make it impossible to feel, and the price has now gone up to $6 a minifigure. When I first started collecting these LEGO minifigures, they were $2.99, which means that they have doubled in price since they first came out. And I know everything's gotten more expensive recently, but doubled in price is... It's honestly quite a lot of money. I know they're licensed figures and things like that, but when they're now that they're six dollars, they are not going to go back down to five dollars. The fact that the next series is probably going to be an unlicensed IP. So it's one of those things that I'm really going to have to weigh on a series by series basis. But as I said, this was the first time I've ever done something like this, ever purchasing the full complete minifigure series, and it'll be questionable if I ever do something so crazy and impulsive again. Overall, I am very happy with my decision though, and I do not regret it whatsoever. If you guys want to see the full unboxing of these. Lego minifigures and a little bit of each of the figures. Definitely check out my other video here on my YouTube channel where I did a full unboxing of these minifigures. You guys are not going to want to miss it out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know down in the comments below, have you ever purchased a full complete minifigure series in the past? And if so, why and would you do it again? Thanks again so much for watching guys and I'm looking forward to seeing you all here in the next video.